Amen. Minister Rouse has been all over the Church of Jesus Christ, but he is also a very astound preacher. I'm going to call him up for his two minutes, and then we're going to our last song and the Word of God. Hey. Minister hey. Lucius Rouse is the Him. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> we truly thank God for being here. It's an honor to even stand and say anything about Sister Teresa didn't because she uh let me say this first of all, God. Give me give me something meaningful to say because uh, Sister Jenny really meant a lot to me. Right. Um uh, three things I want to say. There's a lot of things I can say about it, but Sister Jenny was a very phenomenal woman. Yes, she was. Uh those that were here on yesterday. We heard how much she gave. She was a very giving woman. Yes. My point is, she always gave, she gave, she gave. Yes. Yes. She not only gave it to her children, yes. she gave it to her grandchildren, mm -hmm. she gave it to my children. She was a giver. Amen. She was a giver. She, she was a giver. She gave everything. She gave her heart. She gave. The second thing about Sister Diddy that was phenomenal to me, and I gotta say this because it's from my heart. It made it phenomenal. Sister Diddy never wanted any glory. Never wanted any glory. She was like a backbone that you would never see. That's right. Yeah. She was the first lady here. She did not want to be called the first lady. No. She didn't want to stand up to be recognized. No. That's phenomenal. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot of Christian folk I know who, no, they want to be seen. They want to be heard. What about me? Yeah. She was phenomenal. Yeah. I loved his sister, Denny. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Praise From a ministry aspect, I do want to say this because as the Lord shared with me, many of us, we let me say this, what, what she's found. She gave, she didn't want any glory, but she found the treasure. Uh -huh. And I was crying yesterday, praise God, and a few other times before that, I would cry, but I would think about the fact that I would smile because mm -hmm. Sister Denny found the treasure. Yes, she did. Paul said, there is a treasure in these earthen dust. Uh -huh. Let me share something with you, we may not have never heard this before, but listen. Some folk thinking that reading the word of God the written word of God, mm -hmm. the Bible. God gave us the Bible, it's the only road map to glory. Amen. You read your Bible, you study your Bible. People have memorized and quoted their Bible. Yeah. It is the road map to glory, the Bible, the written word is. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the treasure. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. As Christ told the so-called church folk of, of that day, he said, Search the scriptures. Yeah. For in the scriptures you think yeah. you have eternal life. He said, but those scriptures are they, are they that testify and point to me. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. He was saying that there's a word, a written word, that every Christian person that calls himself a Christian I know can quote the Bible back and forth. They recite the Bible, they meditate on the Bible, on the written word. But they've never found the treasure. Yeah. The written word is the road map to the treasure, but it's not the treasure. So the question is, what's the treasure? Amen. And I thank God because I smiled even this morning, praise God. Sister Denny showed it. That's right. The treasure is the living word. Yes. Listen, the people of that day were fighting the living word with the written word uh -huh. that they knew. Amen. They were fighting Jesus Christ That's right. with the Bible, the written word. And he was the living word. <laughs> I'm saying, this is what I'm saying. Sister Denny, oh, praise God. Because, listen, two things. You can read your Bible, and stop me, Pastor, please. You can read your Bible and imitate Christ, be like Christ, because you read the written word. But when you get that living word in you, praise God. It's not about imitation. It's about impartation. Many of us don't have impartation. We can quote that Bible and go out and drink a drink. We can quote that Bible and cuss. But I'm saying, Sister Denny was phenomenal. And for those of you that know her, you can box with that. She was totally out the box. No box could hold her, could control her. But her humility, her power to give and to give and to give. Hallelujah. But she found that treasure. The living word. There's a written word, there's a written word, and there's a living word. I thank God.